Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from Spotted Euros. Behind me, we got the $900 GTI. Uh, today, we ordered some parts that came in. We got some other stuff. So uh, we're making some more progress on the GTI. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so for those who are new to the channel, Spotted Euros, we're a used car dealership. We buy and sell cars. So this car right here, uh, we got for $900 at uh, the auction. Uh, we've made four, I think four different videos um, or four other videos with this $900 GTI already. So if you want some more content with the GTI, check out some of those other videos, especially that first one to see where this car came from and uh, compare it to where it is now. So in my last video, we went to the junkyard and uh, we've been going to the junkyard a couple times just to get everything sorted. Um, there was a lot just missing on this car. So uh, we're just putting everything back together basically um and uh, the last video i uh decided to get some uh, jetta body panels uh so i got a jetta fender and a jetta front lip call it uh not thinking call it uh the excitement of the junkyard but uh anyway that obviously didn't work, so we had to go back. Luckily, we went back, just exchanged um, the parts for the correct ones, and uh, no big deal. We actually have a front lip on here now. Now, it is just the basic one, if you, you can see this, but we picked up some new liners. So, uh, I replaced it here on the driver's side already. You definitely can't see anything, but the old ones, the old ones were all tore up. And so uh, it's actually surprising. It brings me peace of mind knowing that everything's covered up front. Okay, so I ordered just a couple of things. No big deal, nothing too exciting, um, but uh, two things that I think we needed. So we got uh, right here. So this right here is a, uh, looks like an OEM, um, OEM armrest delete. So uh, it's just a little cubby, and then it comes with a little rubber guard to replace this. So the armrest was already the armrest was already broken in this car. It uh, kind of was just some big metal piece. Now the other thing we got is uh, right here. So uh, we're gonna do a delete. A rear wiper delete and the other thing is right here so I got two solid bushings these are the bushings these are control arm bushings that came on the R32 so um, I've had them work for before and I replaced the control arms I got this kit it came with control arms ball joints tie rod ends all that kind of stuff and uh, anyway I ended up with two of them and I've been storing the parts ever since. So, um, <laughs> I've been storing the parts for an occasion just like this. I knew I'd have a Mark IV again at some point, so uh, I decided just to hold on to them, and luckily I still got them. So, I got the better bushings, the solid bushings, solid rubber bushings. Um, so we'll, uh, at some point, new control arms, new bushings, um, like I said, ball joints, all that kind of stuff. Also, I think at the same time, we'll do the uh, we'll do the sh uh, the shocks and the struts, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I ordered. That's what came in. Um, so uh, we'll be installing that in this video. And then the other thing is we're going to install this fender. So, uh, like I said, we got a Jetta fender, obviously. <laughs> not gonna work we went back and got this one the only thing was the other fender was black maybe that's why I was I was uh, so uh, quick to just pull it off is because it all matched and it was in good shape this one's silver and it does have some body damage right here so the reason we have that fender is I've always wanted to try 
uh, a look on the, one of these cars. So one of the things that I've seen done a lot is when people sand, sand down a fender, sand down the hood, something like that, and just let it rust. Um, and then maybe put some clear coat over top of it. Now, <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's kind of different, um, but it's super easy. I mean, that fender was cheap, 30 bucks at the junkyard, and we can swap that out. We've got a perfectly fine fender right here. So uh, we're gonna switch them, sand it down, let it rust, and see what it looks like. I'll start with the easiest, or at least it seems like the easiest, with the wiper delete. And then uh, we'll put the armrest delete in, and then uh, we'll start working or swapping out that fender. I didn't want to leave this uh, just open so uh, if you can see that here just put a screw in it it's, uh, it's as far as I could go so it's pretty tight in there and then uh, I just won't mess with the uh, switch I'll zip tie this up out of the way and then we should be good okay there we go just like that just like that, we got a wiper delete. So it looks pretty good. Here's what the backside is. I was very, this might even be able to go tighter, but I did not want to shatter this back glass. <laughs> so uh, I just put it on enough to where the rubber's kind of getting pushed out. Okay, that was pretty easy. I'll just put the trim piece back on. Um, and uh, we should be good to go. Okay guys, here's the center console. Let's put this in, see how it looks. Fits pretty good. And so the other cool thing with this is it comes with a little rubber pad here. There you go. Looks pretty good. So uh, while I have this out, I might as well clean this thing up. Kind of smells actually. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's clean this up a little bit and then uh, we'll put it back in. Okay, so here we go. There it is. So uh, if you ask me, this is loads better than what it was like before. Um, especially, uh, I don't know, it just looks better without the armrest if you ask me, and then also this, uh, having this here instead of what, you know, missing, uh, piece was there before, uh, is definitely a lot better, and I was able to clean it up just a little bit, this was the grossest part, this was full of just junk, um, but this does come out, and, uh, it's kind of, um, weird to clean, but anyway, so, that definitely looks a lot better. Definitely looks a lot cleaner as well. Now we'll uh, clean the car once we're kind of done and put we put everything together and then uh, we'll be able to see. But yeah, I like the look of this. It, instead of uh, kind of the wiper interrupting the body lines here. Yeah, that looks good. So uh, two small things, nothing too big, but uh, just a little bit here and there to make things look better. Um, especially compared to when we first got this. When we first got this, there was a 
the antenna was missing, the back badge was missing, the gas cap was missing, wheels were covered in plasti dip. Um, so anyway, little by little, little by little this is looking a lot better. Um, it definitely runs a lot better, that's the other thing when we first got it. So now let's, uh, let's tackle this fender. Okay, so these fenders are pretty easy to get off. This will be my third time. <laughs> but uh, you just pop the hood. So there are just a couple of, of bolts here at the top. And then there's a couple on the back side. And then the only thing that seems to kind of be, it uh, there's some undercoating that tends to stick to the fender tabs. So uh, anyway, you just kind of have to pull that off. But other than that, I mean, you, had, you do have the liner, so that's kind of holding it together as well. So uh, let's pull this off. We'll see, we'll see how this looks. Because this fender is, uh, you know, in pretty much perfect condition. No dents, no scratches on the front fender. So like I said, we'll see how it looks. It'll definitely look kind of funny once we put just this, uh, a silver, silver fender on. is off we are now fenderless <laughs> um, so it, it really is pretty easy on these um, just a couple of 10 mil across here and then there's two 10 mil and then there's one two three down here now these mark fours always uh, collect dirt and stuff right in here so that's uh, good to clean out <laughs> everything else so so there's the old fender like I said it's in pretty good shape so I uh, have to put that somewhere and now time to put on the new one <laughs> so there you go not only did we mount the fender we also put the tire back on and uh, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> even just having the silver doesn't look so bad. I don't know. Just the contrast is kind of cool. Okay guys, she's all clean. Look at that. <laughs> look at that silver fender. Okay. So tell me what you guys think. I actually don't even mind the silver. I don't know. Um, like I said, I think that's a good sign. It's kind of an interesting look. Anyway, um, it's a good sign. Because uh, once we get this uh, fully rusted, it'll be a nice contrast. So, so yeah. So, there we go. Two modifications, really. Well, three, I guess. Uh, the back wiper delete. Surprising how much better that looks. Um... I really like the look of not having that wiper. Kind of seems to clean it up. The armrest elite, officially, <laughs> uh, it uh, was deleted a little bit ago. And then the fender. So, in the next video, we're gonna rest this fender and uh, then we can put the liner in and everything else. So we'll see how that goes. I've never done it before. I'm sure it's not hard, but uh, this is actually looking quite a bit better than when we first got it with the front lip. I know on the camera it's kind of hard to see everything, but the front lip and uh, everything's, you know, sort of in, in place, 
you got the antenna, you got the gas cap, the wheels look a lot better. Um, everything seems, for the most part, it seems a lot nicer, a lot nicer than a $900. GTI. Maybe after we rust this fender, uh, it won't <laughs> it won't look as nice. So uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out some of our other videos if you haven't seen any, um, and stay tuned for some more content. We got some more content coming on this GTI, and then I'm sure we have other videos coming as well. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.